Jeez, dude. Can't go anywhere, bro. I just want to get into their spawn. Low key. All right. We're finally here. We are finally here. This is exactly what I wanted to do. This is what I need to do. It's probably going to turn around. Okay. This is good. Finally. Thank you. Come on, 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 come on. Let's go. Craig 6 for the win. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you the Golden Craig 6. A very, very underrated gun in my opinion. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of class setups that you can use in case, you know, you prefer one way or the other, etc, etc. But first, let's go over my first preferred class setup. So this one, we're going to be using the mill stop reflex for the optic. And then for the muzzle, we're going to be using the suppressor on it. It has that 100% muzzle flash concealment. Super important for staying off the enemy minimap if you want to stay stealthy. And for the barrel, we're going to be running with the 19.7 inch Ranger barrel. This one gives us 100% bullet velocity. This is what helps your bullets connect to your opponents instantly. All right, so for the magazine, we're running with the 40 round speed mag. Now, the reason why I chose the 40 round speed mag is because the aim down sight time is not as bad as the 50 round fast mag, which is at 25%. And this is actually pretty noticeable in my opinion. You know, like I said, I got this gun gold, so I've pretty much messed around with a lot of attachments, a lot of trial and error. And I came to the conclusion that, you know what, 40 round speed mag is just the perfect right of right amount of aim down sight if we were to have a con on it. Of course, it depends on what kind of map you're playing on, how aggressive you do play. You can run with any mag realistically, uh, but for me personally, I'm gonna go with the 40 round speed mag. I like to reload as fast as possible. Now for the stock, the Raider stock is absolutely the best stock that you can put on this weapon. It gives us that 30% boost, which is huge in sprint to fire time, as well as that 40% aim walking movement speed. So this is gonna be very important. This tells a story of how you should use this weapon, which is to be strafing left and right in those gunfights. And with that 40% boost, it's very noticeable. You're gonna be able to dance around your opponents, and this is very great. Now, the only downside is gonna be that hip fire accuracy, but me personally, I don't really care too much about that stat. You know, I don't really do that anyway. So it's not really an issue for me. All right, so let me show you guys how you can set this up, especially if you're playing something like nuketown you definitely want to have your perk set up like this we're using the perk greed wild card here that's how we're able to do this we're using all these perks you can just pause the video if you need to i don't really want to go over these too much uh, but these are very very essential for your survival especially the first tier perks as well as the third tier perks now another way you could set this up is if you select the gunfighter wild card now as you can see we only have three perks to work with so if i'm going to pick a perk to work with it's going to be flak jacket or tack mask or forward intel you know it really just depends on your preference those are all pretty solid perks in my opinion and then for the second tier perk i'm probably going to be running scavenger and then third perk i'm probably going to be running ghost now uh, this is really tough ghost or ninja you know it's really pick your poison do you want your footsteps heard or do you want to be hidden by enemy uavs you know like i said it depends on what kind of map you're playing on so if you're playing on something like nuketown for example you definitely want to put on ghost because people are going to be spamming those uavs like crazy now for the krig to complete this class setup to make it as balanced as optimized as possible for the body i'm definitely going to be putting on that steady aim laser and then the under barrel we're going to be using the infiltrator grip and then for the handle, we are going to be using the serpent wrap. So now pretty much with all these attachments, this is going to fully balance out the weapon. There are virtually no negatives to it at all. If you came here just for the class setup, consider leaving a like on this video so I can keep providing these class setups for you guys. You know, if this is the kind of content you want to continue to see. I will keep grinding out the weapons, testing out different attachments for you guys. If you're one of those people that watches my videos often, but just hasn't made the jump yet, subscribe today, join Turbo Nation. We want to make that baby official. Turn on notifications, make them personalized so you never miss another one. Yada, yada, yada. Let's just get into the gameplay. Let's go, baby. All right, you guys, I need to preface this gameplay with the fact that this is going to be a very sweaty gameplay. And, you know, Nuketown 24-7 is by far the most sweatiest playlist in cold war so i'm gonna try my best to put some commentary here and there on my thought process while i'm doing what i'm doing to help you guys out you know because that's something that i really enjoy doing is just giving you guys some sort of value so that you're not just watching the gameplay so uh really quick before we get into the match all i like to do is try to get as much map control as possible if you don't have that then the enemy team is just going to spawn trap you you want to be the one that's spawn trapping people i know as you know toxic as that sounds that's really how nuketown is it's either you get spawn trapped or you spawn you spawn trap them okay so i'm gonna try to go to the middle of the map and try to gatekeep them from advancing forward you know that's what we really got to do it's pretty much damage control at this point 
All right, so teammate got him. We're going to keep an eye on all lines of sight as much as we possibly can. Then we're going to slowly push our way forward. And ideally, get into their household. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, man. We got sideswiped there. So you don't, want, you don't just want to run around and challenge people, you know? That's how you die often and why Nuketown can be very frustrating. And we also got to get these people out of the window. Hopefully, we get a kill. Yes. Oh, wait. No. Teammate got the kill. Oh, spawns have flipped. Another thing to keep in mind is that the spawns flip very, very frequently. So a lot of people, you know, they're going for their camels and whatnot. And that's why it's super, super sweaty. It's double XP. And that is the only reason why I played this playlist other than, you know, for this video purposes. Of course, you know, I'm a YouTuber. I got to make a video on Nuketown, right? What? Okay. All right. So now that the spawns have flipped, I'm going to try to get into the yellow house and just patrol it and hold them at their spawn. Whoa, dude, that guy all the way up there. Come on. We got to push up. We got to push up. Okay, I am running a Sigma as my secondary. We're going to get rid of this. Thank God my teammate is on the same page as me. Okay, that is great. Wait, do they have a UAV up? They do have one up. Okay, let's get that out of here. Even though I'm running Ghost, it's always a good idea, you know, because there's going to be moments where you do stop. Oh my gosh. Is this not the most hectic gameplay ever? We got to get some control, man. This is chaos at this point. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm pushing up, I'm pushing. Okay. Another counter spy plane. Dude, I'm just going to stand here all day, man. This is probably what's going to happen, man. I'm just going to be here all day trying to take these out. They're absolutely destroying me and my team. Yup. This did not go as planned. But that's just the way Nuketown is sometimes. Okay, we finally got a kill. Let's go. Shoot that guy in the back. Let's get some map control here. We got a spy plane, but we unfortunately cannot call that in. Yup, he's coming. He's pushing. Oh my gosh. Dude doing like flips in the air and whatnot just to get a kill. Okay. Where? Okay. And uh, we have to take this down. Yep. Is this the kind of gameplay that you guys enjoy watching? I mean, I see a lot of comments all the time, you know, saying, oh, my enemies have this glitch where they shoot me, shoot back at me. But, you know, you have to keep in mind, I do this for a living. I'm playing like literally five, six hours of gameplay worth. And I'm only showing you guys the highlights. So that's why I'm also not worrying about uploading this gameplay, even if I'm doing absolutely terrible, just to shut those people up, you know? It's just kind of annoying. People who are not in this industry, you know, they, they can't relate. They don't know, you know, what what classifies as a good YouTube video. You know, you have to show your best gameplays, and that's why you only see the gameplays where I do well. But let me know your thoughts on this, man. Is this exactly the kind of gameplay that you want to see? Like, where I'm just doing bad, dying repeatedly just like that. You know, it's just not fun. You know, and eventually you will get into some pretty decent lobbies. You know, if you play this game long enough, like the way I do, I know they're YouTubers. It's really just the reality of it. So hopefully uh, we'll get into some, you know, decent matches. I mean, this is just unplayable at this point. I'm, I'm literally paying, playing for, I don't know, $100,000 that doesn't even exist. That's what, that's what this feels like, bro. Damn, bro. Why even pick up the controller at this point? Oh my god, dude. I... Okay. This... All the people out there that like to leave these silly comments and hop on the bandwagon saying that you have a glitch where my enemies shoot back. Does this make you happy? Is this the kind of content that you do want to see? And, and not just those people, but just in general. I'm just very curious. Does this kind of gameplay serve as entertaining for you? Because honestly, I wouldn't mind it if it was. Because this would make uploading content much more frequently for me. So, you know, you just let me know down below in the comments. Alright, so let's get into another match here and hopefully we do a little bit better you know this is how the process is 
you know, we just keep playing until we get a decent gameplay. Okay, why is it saying? All right, here we go. All right, we're playing some domination. This is definitely going to be a much longer gameplay. Okay, here we go. And okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Okay. I'll live with that. I got a kill. I escaped death right there. I'm going to push up here. Oh my goodness. I'm just pre-firing, man, in hopes that that guy's going to pop up. Yo, where are they at, man? Hello? Okay, I'm... No, he had body armor. Got him. Let's try to gatekeep. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Yeah, for the simple fact that I do not want this video to be too long, I'll probably just cut off all my deaths. Jeez, dude. Can't go anywhere, bro. I just want to get into their spawn, low key. All right, we're finally here. We are finally here. This is exactly what I wanted to do. This is what I need to do. 100% they're going to be coming after me. God, he got away. He's probably going to turn around. Okay, this is good. They're coming in. Are they coming in? Nope. Dude, if only that counter wasn't there, that'd be nice. Oh, dude. The chopper got me. Come on, 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 come on. Let's go. Krig 6 for the win. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Dude, that is a mean, mean spot. Finally. Thank you. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Okay. Finally, we got somebody. Okay. I will live with that two in a row. This isn't working. I feel like someone's coming up. Great. The counter UAV, though, is holding me back. gonna try to hold this area down as much as I can no 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 no! Oh, he got a shoddy man these guys that play this game are pros dude I literally cannot keep up these guys are just better yeah they're 100% better yep finally thank you here they come here they come Oh, man, that would have been so nice to get that guy. Thank you. Thank you. Please, I'm hoping somebody's up here. Oh, my gosh. Every time I get up here, they always have that counter UAV, whatever that is. actually on a streak oh boy and there it is it is destroyed just like that i just wanted to showcase the reality of nuketown if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like on it subscribe for more call of duty content and i will see you guys in the next video let's go baby how did we finish off here 31 and 23 hey we went positive that's all that matters on nuketown that's all that matters all right i'm out of here man